hey savage family welcome back to my youtube channel today i have a very simple but delicate video on how to mix sweets plantain stay tuned fun fact that a lot of people don't know is plantain is actually a fruit and it is my favorite fruit so as you guys can see here i let them ripe just sweet enough and it's very simple you just cut the ends off of the plantain and then you slice the middle of it and then you just peel it into half gently taking off the skin So many people have different ways of calling plantain, but as you guys can see here, I'm actually going to start cutting it on a diagonal. So I cut it on diagonal, you guys can cut it straight if you want to. I just love my plantain to be just pretty, even though it doesn't matter. But I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. See, I cut it on an angle here. I don't know the shape of this, I can't tell you guys. But here I'm just going to show you guys um, another way that I did it. Well, I'm sorry. I'm just going to repeat the process. I cut the ends off. I'm going to split the middle. And then I'm just going to repeat the process. It is very, very simple, you guys. But I think the most important part about having sweet plantains is the ripening. You have to make sure it's just right, but not too ripe that you have soggy plantains. We don't do that. Please don't say that you learned that here at this channel. I beg I be. So I'm just going to repeat the process one more time just to show you guys cut the ends of it slice it in the middle but you guys also have to be very careful you peel the skin off oh I was mad right there then I'm going to start cutting on a diagonal so I'm just going to repeat this process until I cut each plantain and I'm going to do it until I have my desired shape So now that everything's done, it looks like this. Very beautiful, very cute. And I'm going to use some Himalayan salt. I'm going to sprinkle some salt on the plantain just for some taste. And then I'm just going to toss them around. This is how we do it in Africa. We just be tossing, we don't got time to be using our hands, trying to be fancy. Toss it around. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit more because there was a lot of plantain in a bowl. Then I'm gonna repeat the process and toss them around as well. I actually fried some plantain last night, so I already had some oil in the frying pan. I just poured about two to four cups of oil in the pan, and I let it get on high heat for about four minutes. And what you want to do next is just gently place the plantain into the fryer. Here you can see that you know that it's hot when it starts to sizzle. You can't even see the plantain. So what I'm just gonna do again is just make sure that I drop each plantain into the frying pan. And the good thing about plantain is you can put as many or as little as you want into the frying pan. It really doesn't matter. So here I'm just going to let this sit and fry for about two to four minutes. And then you can just see that it starts to rise at the top of the pan and you start to seed the plantain. So you also let this sit for another two minutes. You don't want it to fry too, too much because it starts to get dark. But once you know it's ready to flip is once you start to see it get a little brown and golden. A little similar to how it looks right here. So I start flipping it. I flip them individually. As you can see, it's not as dark, but it starts to get that little brown, that brown looking color, which is exactly how you want it to look. So after I flip these on the other side, I let them fry for about two minutes because they tend to fry a lot quicker on the other side. And then they're going to be almost ready to be taken out. So here I'm taking out the plantain and just look at it you guys. They're so golden. You can tell they're soft but not too gooey. But then it also has that, that crunchy 
on the outside if you guys know what i'm talking about so here i'm just showing you guys what they look like you also want to be very mindful that there is a lot of oil so please strain them on i would say like a wax paper if you don't have wax paper just a paper towel just to make sure that all the excess oil gets taken out and yeah it's pretty simple i just repeat this process with each plantain and just look at that that little oh, geova you are my provider i just love plantain you guys and i tell you i said in my last video you don't eat plantain i don't trust you period thank you for watching my quick tutorial on how i make sweet plantains please don't forget to send this to your friends and family as well as like comment and subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys next time stay blessed